Here are three quick tips that'll help you win more points in doubles when you're the returner's partner. Now, this video is courtesy of Tennis Tunes on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I put their link in the description below. How am I doing? Tip number one, stand about one yard from the center tee. Now, for you non-Americans, that is about one meter. So when you are the returner's partner, you should be about one meter, or for you Americans, one yard from the center tee. Pop, and I'm calling him Pop because he's actually the dad of the returner. Um, so the returner is Brett, who owns this channel, Tennis Tunes, and his dad, who he calls Pop, is his partner. Nice father-son duo. So we'll call him Pop for this video. Pop, you're standing too far over. And the reason is because if Brett accidentally like the annoying son he can be, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure you got some stories when he was a kid. Uh, when the ball goes to the net guy, there's too much room in the middle because you're too far over. You're basically pop covering the alley right now. And your job at first is to cover the center in case the ball is hit to the net guy. I would rather you stand here, pop, and then the net guy feels like he's got to hit too cute of a shot and you end up making him miss by going for such a, a great angle than standing where you are standing, taking away the difficult shot and giving him the easy shot. So stand about a, a meter or a yard from the center tee and you'll be in better position. Tip number two, where to look. Pop, there are two places to look when you are the returner's partner. First, you follow the ball to see if it's in. If it's out, call it out. If it's in, don't follow it back to Brett, but in fact, immediately turn your sights on the net guy. The rule in doubles is when the ball goes past you and it goes back to your partner at the baseline, if you're at the net and the ball goes past you, you should look at the opposing net person. See, uh, Pop, when you're looking back at Brett right now and you're looking back at his shot, the problem is you don't know how to interpret how well he hit his shot because you don't know where the net guy is. See, the net guy might stay where he is. He might cover the alley. He might pinch or poach to cut off the cross-court ball and intercept it. But by watching only Brett, you see where Brett hits it, but you don't know how good of a shot that actually is. But if you watch the net guy, you know everything. You know where the net guy is and you know where Brett hits the ball. So no more looking back at Brett when he's hitting. Watch the ball land, and then once it's in, ignore this part of the ball's travel and immediately look at the net guy. You'll notice, Pop, how you start going forward, and you start walking forward, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow, that guy is nailing the ball. And in doubles, this guy really should be nailing the ball at you, which he does, right? Uh, high balls at the net, you find the person closer to you, and you nail it at their legs. So you walked right into that because you were just watching Brett, and you need to watch the opposing net player. And this takes us to our third concept. When you watch this guy and you see the racket go up because it was a high ball, you must immediately move backward. You know, a lot of times, Pop, players start on the service line and they're just waiting to go forward. But you have to be ready to go forward and backward. Forward you are playing offense, and that's if your partner, Brett, hit a really good shot cross court, or you know maybe the server is serving and volleying, and you get it at their feet, and you can go forward. But you need to be able to move back in case Brett hits it to the net guy so that you have more time to react. And that's exactly what happened. He got the high ball. You're about a step inside the service line when really you should be about two steps behind the service line, giving you just maybe a little bit more time to put your racket on that ball. So adjust where you're standing, adjust where you're looking, and adjust the direction you move and pop, and you're going to win more points. Now, if you're tired of lugging around your old and outdated ball machine, then just make your tennis friends jealous and get the Proton Ball Machine by Hydrogen Sports. And right now, you can get free shipping in the USA when you use my link. It's in the description. You'll find it in the first comment. You'll also see it on the screen at the end of this video. The Proton is fully programmable using its intuitive app. In fact, you control it using your smartphone or watch. It holds up to 100 balls and weighs less than 20 pounds. To see how truly amazing this ball machine is and to get free shipping when you order one be sure to use my link so click right there to check out the proton ball machine and with that link you're given a coupon code for free shipping improve where you stand look and move in doubles and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence win more matches and play much better tennis
This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. Pop, you got this.